right, right here in front. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after that first round submission victory? Um, my initial thoughts was uh, uh, my initial thoughts was like uh, it's over. <laughs> it was over that fast. Was that a sense of like when you're saying like is that a sense of relief or did you were you hoping it would go longer so you could um, get more in there? Yeah, I think I was hoping it go a little longer on the feet, you know, so I could you know put a good performance on. Wanting to stay on the feet, was that because you, all week we had heard, like, from Israel Asani and everyone, they kept praising his striking as being this unique thing that no one has seen in MMA, and you wanted to, like, show that you, too, are also a capable striker in there? Absolutely. Like, uh, he's a he's a, he's a a real good striker in kickboxing. In kickboxing. I mean, he's been doing it for a decade, uh, and I've been doing this for a decade. So I just wanted to show him I am, I am, the, the, I am that unique striker in MMA. Well, we heard in your post-fight interview that this was the game plan to take him down and submit him, but I, it didn't really look like he got any sort of offense in there. So defensively, did anything he do surprise you in his submission defense or anything? Um, his his uh his cage his his cage work was really good. You know, just staying up. Um, he was a little taller than I thought. You know, to take him down. So I um I couldn't really uh, get under him as I wanted to. It seems like the the broadcast seems like they were trying to figure out what was happening because even Michael Bisping was saying like he should release the choke to get a better position. All of a sudden, Blood Diamond was out. Was yeah. that just pure strength? That no, you were no, 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 no. My uh, I I had it on his artery. I had my forearm on his artery, and I I when he, my, my coach just said thirty seconds. I when we do this, I was like, no, he's not making it out thirty seconds. I started counting in my head: one, two, three. When I got to five, I was like, oh, he's going to sleep. I seen his eyes were the back of his head. I have to ask, what happened at the beginning of the fight? Oh, man. Uh, yeah. So I had to uh, – thank God I got that, that choke because I had to make up for it. Cause I, so I, I started running. I usually go around, and, uh, and I kind of tripped on the cage on the back. My heel hit the back of the cage, and I, I, I start stumbling. I try to recover as fast as I could. I seen him – as soon as I got up, I seen him. He was already in my face, you know. And finally, uh, is, is there a date you want to return in there? I know it doesn't look like you came out on skates or anything like that, um, but do you want a quick turnaround or anything? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, as soon as possible. So uh, I'm expecting a call. Yeah, but when something like that happens, when you catch your heel on the back of the cage, are you just thinking about, like, okay, what's he going to do now? Or is there a part of you that thinks, oh, that was embarrassing. I wish that didn't happen. Um, not really. We, we're, we're embarrassing? Nah. I'm, I'm ready to, to go, you know. So I was just, uh, it, to be honest, yeah, it was embarrassing. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, it was embarrassing. But I was like, I'm, I'm going to make up. <laughs> I, I'm gonna make up for this. I said I'm gonna make up for it. It was embarrassing, but I've been in embarrassing, more embarrassing situations than this, but not you know yeah. on live TV. <laughs> uh, you made up for it. It's all good. Yeah. Have you seen any of the the memes and stuff that have come out yet? Have you looked at your phone? Uh, please don't remind me. Uh, no, it's memes already. Sheesh. <laughs> I knew. Uh, sheesh. It's okay. Did you hurt yourself at all? No, nah, I didn't hurt myself. I don't know. We'll I'll figure, I'll figure it out in like uh, you know an hour or two. <laughs> if you see how to do the book, who would you fight next? Um. I got. I got a. I want. I want to fight uh, this kid. I know. I mean, I don't know him, but uh, his name is Alex. Uh, Alex Moreno. 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 I think that would be a good fight. I mean, he's uh, he's well rounded. He got a good IQ in fighting. I think that would be a good matchup for me. Jeremiah, right here. Uh, two fights now and uh, two finishes in in the UFC. Uh, is this how you imagined that your UFC career would start? Um. Yes, yes. I planted a seed. I planted the seed a decade ago, and I, uh, I'm just watching it just sprout and grow into a, this a massive tree. Congrats, uh, Jeremiah over here. Uh, how do you feel about the great Houston crowd over here in Texas? Oh man, I, 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 I love it. I felt, I felt the energy. I, I it just, just it, it got me pumped even more, you know. And definitely like. Uh, coming out of the cage, you know, I had to show the love. Going in, I, I was in a, I was in the zone. So uh, once I get used to more fans coming back, I'll, I'll start showing more love. Also going in. How uh, how are you going to celebrate such a good win? Um, well, I'm not going to celebrate after this. I mean, right after this. But when I get home, I'm gonna, I'm gonna celebrate with my fam, my family and friends, and uh, you know, kick it. Jeremiah, would you? What would your advice be to to Blood Diamond going? Going back into this now, and do you think that he has, like you've been in there with him for, you know, it, the guts of uh, around at least, do you think he has what it takes to to eventually make the, the adjustments and come back and be a contender in the UFC? Um, absolutely. He's a fighter, man. Um, He's been doing it. He's been, he been fighting a different type of sport, but uh, all he got to do is, you know, tighten up his, his uh, ground game and uh, 
well, he's in he, he's in the big league now, so he definitely gonna have to tighten it up faster, fat, I mean, real fast, and he'll, he'll be he'll work it'll work out for him. I know he will. He'll come back strong. Yes. Just one question: You were, you went really hard in on the, on those uh, chokes, and you took it all the way towards the end. Was there any fear that if it didn't go, that you would have gassed your arms out? Nah, nah. I, my 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 condition is pretty good. Um, gas my arms out? No. I was ready to soon soon as the round was over, I'd have been ready to throw some punches. And, and when he was stood up against the cage for a while, he was doing a pretty good job of not letting you get him down, and you used a lot of force and a lot of strength to, mm. to get him down. Was there ever any? Were you close at any point to separating and actually trying to? Do yeah, I, I was about to. I was exactly about to separate it, but I was like, my coach. I heard him holler, you know, uh, sweep the legs again. So I wanted to give it one more try, and then I got him down. And, and like you said, you're very conditioned. You're strong. In this I know the commentary was a little surprised that you you spend so much energy to pick him up and do the slam. But mm. for you being like that, that's not the kind of thing that's going to tire you out easily. No, man. I'm I'm used to going 25, you know, 25 minutes, 20. Uh, five five rounds, five minutes, five rounds. You know, this is going gotcha. a lot. <laughs> Congrats on the victory. Thank you. Does this win mean a little bit more to you because it's been so highly promoted by a lot of athletes? Oh, sheesh. He was way back there. I'm like, where is he at? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, can you repeat it again? Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, does this win mean a little bit more to you because he's been so highly promoted by a lot of other athletes? Um, Yeah, man. It, uh. It, yeah, it means every every win means something to me. You know, it's a uh, it's a different opponent, a different uh, situation, and a, it's uh, definitely a different feeling. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it means it means it means a lot.